now listening to. It was secret here with Spillwater TV. We got dog treats. Get this little cellar worms if you cannot find. Hmm, it's like a cracker. It ain't too bad. <laughs> Look, we got the wire himself out here. I might name. I should have named him the wire. Wire this motherfucker is. Yes. Uh, so my energy is normally pretty calm and chill. I be wanting to hold the nigga up here because he don't be acting right all the time. But for the most part, he's doing a lot better. Uh, he definitely a listen. Ego. Recalls really shit. I ain't really work on it. My idea of working recall is making sure my dog stays within five feet when I'm out there in public, to be clear. So I take him in fields, parks, different places. Uh, and then we got to tighten everything up now because, like Stan said, we know he'll bite. Yeah, so that's the easy part. <laughs> exactly. This nigga's ready to chew on anything. That being said, man, go ahead and give me instructions. All right. So recalling is your. You go. Recall is more of a cat. It's more of a casual yeah. kind of you know come on your own time. But he needs to know, hey, get your butt over here and come and sit. We showed you the front, right? Yeah. Yeah. So show me and we'll go from there. Get off of me. But I love you, Daddy. Come on. And mind you, people. I be pretending like the dog don't do no work, but he always at work. Here you go. See? All right, call him to the front. I don't say front. What do you say? To you know it's the truck. I don't. That's why I said the recall shit. Key word was shit. So when I say shit, I mean it. I ain't talking about no shit in the yard. <laughs> so how are you how are you gonna want to call him if you so know sign language? It, look, tell me, look, what's the sign? What's the sign, nigga? What's the sign? I use the word front for my dog to come and sit in okay. front of me. Give me like, a better word. I don't like that word. I mean you can use you can tell him cheese. You can say I don't like cheese don't, neither. It's word bad don't for matter. You. Word don't matter. <laughs> so you gotta pick the word that you want to use to communicate with your dog. We might use the word iron. I'm looking at this shirt. You see that iron <laughs> sharp? I like that word iron. That might be iron! <laughs> so you'll go iron, sit. Good. Then you'll go iron. You got something in your ear, dude? Something in his ear. That's what it is. You need to get your ears clean. You gotta clean your ears up. So yeah, we'll go iron. Good. And you just want to show him that that's. He does this action when he hears that tone. So. Not paying attention, so I'm not gonna try because it just devalues. I'm gonna scoot the ball. Here you go, iron. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. So recall is just a secure position where he needs to go. And again, you can use whatever words you want, but you want it to be consistent because again, when you use it, he needs to know exactly what's expected, and we can't expect him to read our minds. Yeah. Eventually, they will. But you have to work with him and spend time doing that, and then you can get to the point where your stepping back is just going to be the same as the iron. Company. Yeah, I like iron people. You see that iron sharp kid? Now you might want to say iron. That means your dog is sharp as shit. <laughs> that being said, there must be something in here. You know, it's so funny. You watch everything our dogs do, mm -hmm. and then you just start worrying, right? Now I like that. Here you go, iron. Three. He almost went down. He used to that down. He, he used to that down, but uh, so recall. The so best way to start is picking a word, making sure they come back and sit every time, right? And they're coming back and sitting to just the word, not because you're calling them and then telling them to sit. So iron should mean if he's over there, show him the camera. <laughs> we started moving back. We started moving back. So when I tell him iron. I'm not even gonna have to say because this is the complete action. It's like when you do a bench press, you yeah. pull it down and up. Yeah. If somebody can get it down but they can't pull it back up, you have a problem for one. <laughs> you got a problem on your hands. You better hope you ain't got no clips on. So recall means come to me and sit out. Whatever word you're gonna use. And then, and we already did a video on the full recall. And the full recall is just eventually you starting off walking and dog staying close, rewarding them for being close, right? That's a verb a verb. What's it called? What's the word? Uh, Non-verbal. Casual, casual recall. recall. That's what they call it. Casual recall. Um, and what else are some things we can do? Um, I mean, healing is another one. Dog being at your left side. That's Stay in there. Come on.
brush up getting his uh, Now mind you, he's saying brush up people. I'm always honest as hell. I don't know how to make a dog heal to be clear. So what I've been doing, I watched a few of his stuff. And mind you, I've seen him. He, he does stuff with his dog. I just want my dog to be att attentive to me. So as you saw, Ego, my thing was let me see if I can walk a whole parking lot. No lie. Where I'm at. Mm -hmm. And see if he stays focused on me with the little treat. And mind you, Stan, show him how you told him to hold the treat. Stan tell you to hold that treat like that. So when I was like that, you seen Ego, what he do? He followed me for the whole time. I ain't even saying shit. I'm working on positions first. Body language. Body language. Both confidence, big chest, making sure he knows that I'm walking with the purpose. And when I move, he needs to move. And his attention is directly on me. And when you stop, he stops and sat. That's it. And mind you, I do that. So then I was like, oh, he did pretty good. After a little bit, to be clear. He did not do that the first time. But it got him engaged. And then we turn around. Every, let's say, 20 steps in, I'll stop. And he'll sit. And then I keep walking some more. Now, mind you, this is the game of patience. And he's only wired when he knows he's about to play. For the most part, that's when he's like, yo, grab a prop. I'm like, no, he's fine. <laughs> He'll be fine. Because if he if he see toys and he's like, oh, we playing, nigga. I'm with somebody else. But once you start training him, he gets locked in and pretty focused, man. Pays attention. Yeah. So getting him into the position, we don't want to we don't want to have to move a lot. So what we'll do is we'll tell him heel. Come on. When he passes, bring him back around and up. So I literally didn't change anywhere. He went from facing this way to around. And that's getting him into that position. Like you've seen Rocco, he'll run and slide and then come back. Mm -hmm. It's because this is how we got him there. So pull him back. Come on. Here you go. I ain't got nothing. I do. Woo. So back and up. And then ideally you want his shoulder right next to your knee. That's going to be in the proper position. When he's in there, you're going to release him with that free command to let him know he's done. Now let me be very clear, people. I'm a breeder, and I only breed dogs for that are smart. So my thing was, is let me push the dog, boost his confidence, all this stuff. Because like Stan said, you can for the most part dial a dog back. What you don't want to do is create problems. Problems are insecurity, a dog that's defensive, all this stuff. So because I'm betting on his intelligence, I'm like, when it come time, also, I've spent so much time with him bonding-wise, the dog only wants to be, he like, whatever you're doing, I want to do it. Mm -hmm. If I'm sliding down the slide, he slide with me. I mean, we got those videos up. He'll literally go as far as I go. Uh, he's not afraid of anything. That being said, it's my job to continue to bond through communication now. Mm -hmm. I look at it. So let's, let's talk. Yeah. Now it's like when I say iron, <laughs> when I say, that's going to be the word to be clear, people. You should use it too. And when, I say, when I say iron, he's going to come to the front and sit down. When I say heel, Eventually, he will get into the heel position. Uh, I like the word with me. Is there another word we could use for that? Because um, with me is like when they just like walking with you, right? Yeah, so the uh, heel is going to be more of a, a competition. They need to be panting, looking up at you in the more of a formal. The walk with me, be with me is just kind of like be in my vicinity. If we're moving, move with me. You don't have to be as sharp. You don't have to prance. You just have to be with me. So that's the kind of stuff I use whenever we're out in public because I don't want my dog just staring up at me because, if, again, if somebody comes up and they want to do harm or somebody's hiding in a bush around the corner or around the car, I want my dog to be able to be paying attention to those things. So that's where that be with me command is. And he already kind of has that one as already with the healing. You're just going to make that sharper because he will walk with you like you did that in the parking lot. So he knows the be with me. You just got to call it whatever you want to call it. With me, I might say that. And I like the tuck work too. Yeah. So show them the trick. That I don't know how to do this one. Let's see. I got I to gotta learn this one. Let's see how you do it first and then. Ego, come here. I don't know if you take it to your legs like Iverson or something. <laughs> it's a crossover. Just <laughs> <laughs> like that. Just like that. <laughs> so, look, I'm. See, I wouldn't know where to begin. Okay, okay. okay. I sit on both of my ass. All right, so I put treats in both hands. Okay. And we kind of lure him. Uh, I bring my dog to the right side because heel's going to be to the left. Okay. So I'll tell him. Here you go. I got nothing. You know what these treats? What do you got? It's no, treats. he likes treats. He just, he I know. These are just probably oh. ain't a high value enough. <laughs> All right, this should be good. Oh, there hey, we go. Hey. So again, that lure is going to be in handy, especially with this one here. So I'm getting him here. We'll bring him back. I'll tell him tuck, and we'll bring him through. Come on. Good boy. When he sits, there we go. He gets the reward. So go. that's going to be the next one. You see what the <laughs> you, lift, you you pull him back with the one. I got one tree here. Back through. Come on. Good boy. And up. And like I'll even hold him. If he's trying to get out, he can't get out. I'm holding him here. 
So now you're learning that this is where you get that reward. If it doesn't sit, you don't get it. Sit. <laughs> the boy, child. And then when you go to walk, same concept. You have that. <laughs> That's sick. That's sick, people. That's, that's next. Then you go heel. See what I'm saying? I'm Touch. telling you. Come on, come on. Get there, get there, get there. Good job, boy. I said I bet on the dog's heel. intelligence, people. Oh, boy. And then you bet on Stan's training. That's it. Free! That's it. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's it, I'm betting on this training, this education. But that luring man is gonna be your best friend. I love the lure. Um, first thing you should do with your dog is develop a good lure. Before you teach any commands, before anything, develop that dog wanting to follow you. And <laughs> you can do anything you want if they want to follow you, so. And that's, again, I love even seeing him get, be able to focus, but still look for me and say, hey, yo, is, is this good or, yeah, you know. <laughs> It's, that's what you want. I mean, yeah. that's that's how Rocco is. People, he's giving him commands. He looked back. I'm like, I don't know you. No, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my point. And I, look, I mean, like I said, this is my motherfucking dog all day, every day. And he's a good dog. He's a good dog. He's a little wired at times, but he's he's actually pretty chill when he's not like playing too rough. And he just got to work, and he's okay. So that being said, people, you saw progressive. Go ahead. Uh, so you do want to use the level of intensity that he does have to your advantage. What you need? A uh, ball. Does he like this? <laughs> so, same concept, we can get him, bring him in, through, and he sits. Okay. Finish it. Ball something else, but you gotta work here. Good boy. Good boy. Free. And reward it with the ball. So he starts understanding that <laughs> he's going to him. I don't like the ball. He chased it. But you see the concept. Once he's in that position, we use the lure to get him there. And then the big reward is going to be that ball. Or even the bite pillow or tug. Yeah. Any of all those things work as well. Yeah. And those are the things I've been using too because he's highly motivated at times to do various things. So I appreciate that as always, man. Again, energy is everything. Your dog will feed off of your confidence or your insecurities. And ego, I'm not nervous per se with him working with Stan. I'm not nervous with Stan telling me what to do. I literally either know what to do or I don't know what to do. But I am sure about how smart this dog is. So I'm betting on that. And then I'm betting on the practice. And like I said, when the cameras ain't around, Walk a whole that damn parking lot. I'm talking a long one, like, oh, let's see how far this took her. Oh shit, he's still with me. And then, okay, let me stop 10 seconds. He did exactly what it without nobody knowing what was about to happen, but it's like, he still got it normally. I probably train him three hard days a week, realistically, two bare minimum, where it's just me and him, we go outside, and every other day we kind of play yep. and make sure he stays conditioned. But for the most part, it's just practice happens, and then when you see him come out, you go, man, he's, he's, doing, he's still doing what I, what I needed him to do. Yep. And you just build on that? Exactly. <laughs> Take care of your dogs, people. Got questions as always. Like, subscribe, share. We'll be cutting clips out of this. Feel free to go to Iron Sharp K9 on YouTube, backslash Iron Sharp K9 or Fit Bully TV uh, to see and learn more. Stay tuned.